Haikyuu Season 2, Episode 13. Don't look at it. Just don't don't look at it. It's not doing you any good. He really stands out, doesn't he? Everyone's so fixated on this two meters thing. Yikes. Don't look at it. <laughs> don't look. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Tanaka. I'm with you. That's more like it. They're going a little little too deep into that fear rabbit hole for a second. You know that popular expression, the bigger they are, the more they cry when Hinata spikes it in their face. I want to see him cry tall tears. I want him to regret ever being born two meters tall. Episode 13, A Simple and Pure Strength. Oh man, it's so nerve-wracking every time we start a new game. Oh, oh no, oh no, the height. <laughs> the height is... He's so tall. It's... wow. Yeah, that's not how I wanted that to start. Prepare for... action, Nishinoya. Scoop! Dip! Dink? Whatever... oh, even that. Even that. Yeah... Maybe just don't... Don't hit it anywhere in his vicinity, if you can help it. How tall is two meters? What is it, like 6'5"? Wait, I gotta know this right now. 6'7"? Damn. Yeah, it's just shy of 6'7". That is insanely tall. <laughs> How tall is he? But is he tall? Aw, I love you. Yeah, he has talent too. That's a problem. But he's still just one player. He's one person. He can't be everywhere at once. He can be almost everywhere at once because he's 6'7. Oh, interesting development. Oh, he's going up for it. Oh, doesn't have a chance. We, we needed that. That wasn't a satisfying point, but we needed it. They're just riding tall guys' coattails. Oh no. Oh, and he's accurate. Yes. Oh, I like that. I like that knowing nod. They got something. We need to adjust. Yeah, it's, it's not not working this way. They're gonna win though, I believe. Okay, so he's slightly inexperienced. Yeah, I mean, at least they know who they are. And the goal is to win. So, can't hold it against them. Kawai so, huh? I mean, he seems like a pretty modest guy. Hard to hate him for being tall. Nevertheless, Nevertheless. <laughs> Alright, I in Daichi we trust as always. Interesting. There you go. That's some leadership. He's across his body. There we go. There we go. Hell yeah. Got one. In some ways, they're like the opposite of what I felt about Alba Josai in the first tournament, and also I think what Carson has become, where a big part of their gifts lies in having a rich basket of tools. In a game as dynamic as volleyball, if there's only one threat, presumably you can figure it out, right? You can find a workaround. One thing that's evident so far, even though this is the second game, is how high their volleyball IQ has risen. <laughs> And we figured this out kind of early on in the first game. That's good. Let's see how they adjust now. <laughs> that's good. That's great news. Wow, that's really cool and like brave. 
to do that now, but I love it. I think the whole team internalized the lesson that Asahi learned at the end of Exhibition. If you got it, go for it. Do it. God bless you. Yeah. Good luck with that. Didn't the guy from My Hair Academia do the music for this show as well? I'm like hearing the influence in this track. <laughs> That's great. It's perfect. There's a saying I love that is hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. You could substitute talent for physical advantage as well. It seems to be the case here. Oh, don't identify with your height too much. He was really like counting on it, relying on it. Yeah, there we go. We're in a roll. What exactly did he mean by that? Meaning we're getting to a point higher than we ever reached before? We can still go higher? Hit it to him. Oh, another face ball. Good job, Hidana. Yeah, he's really leaning hard on maxing this one stat. Is this a moment? That's we could just have a moment? Hell yeah. Whoa, hold on though. Hold on, hold on. We don't have that big of a lead. Oof. I feel like we celebrated a little bit too early. First tempo. There you go, there you go. I would love to see Hanada go up with him once. Just hit it right in his tall face. Minus tempo! Good. Huh, so they're, they're quick is actually like a novel technique. We felt it, but also I feel like we learned a lesson. We learned a key lesson on the last day of practice. Right. Now we have a more rounded team. It hurts to see Nishinoya not be able to get that. It's a team game. Nice. What's the score? I'm afraid to say. Looks pretty even though. Yeah, to his credit, I mean, he's playing his heart out. Tanaka, man, I feel like he's so underrated. An unsung hero. He has so many big moments. Okay, alright, this is looking great. Receive, receive. A plate! Interesting. Nice, awesome. Oh, I really want to see him go up head to head. Head to head, head to head. Blast it through. You got the vision. I oh, got yeah, special skill. There it is. Uh, oh, someone catch him. He's so busy watching the outcome of the, the ball. It's not okay. No, he did that. He saw. He had the look. <laughs> yeah, speaking of expanding the arsenal, all that tension just to get to the actual tournament. Yeah, yeah. That's just partly inexperienced talking. Well, by then we'll have a championship under our belt, so we can worry about that later. Tanaka's biggest mistake was not coming here with a banana, apparently. We're not. No one's thinking about homework right now. Why did you bring that up? I hope so. Oh, 
Oh no, what do I what do I do in this situation? What's the volleyball playbook for this? I mean, it seemed like she was handling herself just fine, but that was sweet. Okay, now it's getting inappropriate. Huh, this is this set up for a future game? I think he did. Were they just seated? Finally, somebody who seems hateable. <laughs> I think Hinata got a lot of people's attention today. <laughs> no need to deny it. Oh, here we go. This conversation is not over. Oh, putting Hinata on blast. So that's the end of the prelims. In a way that actually feels like the end of the arc, if that makes sense. There was some resolution in the final two episodes that directly tied to the exhibition, where we got to see them use the skills they had learned, like Kanata's special technique, the new quick, Asai's jump serve, Suki playing his heart out, renewed confidence and also team identity, proving to themselves that it was worth it, that they can do it. I mean, Hinata making some really bold claims that he's on the level of Osh uh, Oikawa and U Ushikawa, and the prelims kind of flew by. It was one episode per game. This, I feel, is where it's probably going to get a little bit dicey, and they're obviously setting up this character, who at first glance strikes me as something like Oikawa the, the much lesser. And I really love the choices that they made. I think it was a really great direction having the team not just do practice, right? That would have been easy enough to script and, and to do. That would have been normal. But having them kind of like be broken down to let go of the tools they've been leaning on for so long and struggle and go through the pain of that exhibition arc to have that pay off in this preliminary portion, it's just so satisfying and more meaningful than I expected, more insightful. The omnivore or scavenger analogy also turning out to be really important. And while maybe not explicit in a way that I've noticed, but it's just something I feel, a nice tie back to their, their match against Alba Josai, because I, at the time I felt like that was Alba Josai's best weapon, their versatility and their volleyball IQ, which now Karasuna seems to have caught up with on both fronts, which beyond, you know, just being great for the team, makes me really excited to see a potential rematch of that, of that game. If anything, going into the tournament arc, the only thing that, that I I think drains the, the tension a bit is actually a different part they did right, which is setting the stakes for their opponents. With such giants to play, you know, with Alba Josai on the future roster, probably, as well as the former champions, hard to imagine them losing to this upcoming team, or for that matter, any other team that we haven't been introduced to yet. So the question for me is more like, what are they going to get out of the games? What is it going to say about them? And what else are they going to develop in the meantime on the road to the championship?